Let's read a little golden book, Jurassic Park, one of my favorite movies of all time. Let's see how they adapted this one. <clears throat> People everywhere love dinosaurs, but the mighty T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor and many others had disappeared long, long ago. Then one day a kind wealthy man named John Hammond built a very special park on an island of the coast of Costa Rica. No, just as on an island. He invited three important scientists, Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler and Ian Malcolm for a visit. To these scientists it looked like an ordinary island. What's so special about this place? Alan asked. Then he saw them. Dinosaurs. A whole park full of them. Mr. Hammond explained that his own scientists had learned how to make dinosaurs, just like the ones that lived millions of years ago. Just then, Mr. Hammond's grandchildren, Lex and Tim, arrived. They couldn't wait to go into the park and see the dinosaurs. Everyone was so excited to take the tour. The first dinosaur they found was a sick triceratops. Ellie stayed to help the poor triceratops, while the others continued on with the tour. When they approached the T-Rex, the T-Rex, when they approached the T-Rex pen, there was a power failure. That could only mean one thing. Roar! The T-Rex could escape from its electric fence, and it did. The huge dinosaur came after them and smashed the tour vehicle. While Ian distracted the giant beast with a bright flare, Alan helped Lex and Tim get away. Ellie and the park warden rescued Ian from the T-Rex. The hungry dinosaur chased them, and they barely managed to escape. We need to turn the power back on, and fast, Ellie said. She found the power shed and got the electricity working, but a velociraptor found her. Meanwhile, Alan and the kids made it to the visitor center. While Alan looked for everyone else, Lex and Tim stayed in the cafeteria until two more velociraptors found them. The small but fierce dinosaurs chased the kids into the kitchen. One velociraptor darted towards Lex. Womp! but it was just Lex's reflection in a shiny metal cabinet. The Velociraptor smashed right into it. The other growling Velociraptor followed Tim into the large freezer. The dinosaur slipped on the icy floor. Tim dashed out and locked the door, trapping the Velociraptor inside. Lex and Tim found Alan and Ellie in the park's electrical control room. While Lex used the computer to call for help, another snarling Velociraptor attacked. Alan thought they could escape the Velociraptor by hiding in the ceiling, but one of the crafty creatures found them. To get away, they climbed down the big bones of a Brachiosaurus skeleton in the lobby, but they had company. The last two Velociraptors teamed up, now the humans were trapped. Then suddenly the lobby shook with a thunderous roar. It was the T-Rex. The Velociraptors were no match for this mighty dinosaur. While the T-Rex and the Velociraptors fought, the scientists and the kids dashed out the door. Now that everyone was finally safe, they escaped from the island, where living dinosaurs ruled once again, just as they had ruled the Earth so long ago. <laughs> Quite funny that they don't even mention Robert Muldoon, Dennis Nedry, Ray Arnold, <laughs> Gennaro. Okay, it's a very, very concise version of the story. But, yeah, lovely. Um, great images as well. Great stuff.